Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, I am Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, and today I want to show you how you can turn off the built-in keylogger within Windows 10. Now, if you're not aware, Microsoft collects a lot of information about you, and as I've said in the past, your information is becoming a commodity, and uh, Microsoft likes to uh, put keyloggers onto Windows 10. And basically what a keylogger is, is a program that sees everything that you types and uh, it either saves it, sends it off somewhere, or whatever. Anyways, Microsoft says that it wants to get your information, uh, probably to see if it can better advertise to you, but I don't think it's really cool for Microsoft to be uh, taking my information that way. I'm not comfortable with it. So, what you gotta do, come on down to the bottom left and you see this Windows button. This is for Windows 10, by the way, of course. This only affects Windows 10. And uh, hit settings. And then this window will come up. You're going to want to come down here to privacy. Now, uh, within here, if you value your privacy, this is what you need to look at. But sending Microsoft info about how I write to help improve typing and writing in the future, that's the one you want to turn off. But you might want to turn off more of these. Uh, let apps use my advertising ID for experience across apps. Honestly, I don't mind that so much. Smart screen filter to check uh, web contents at uh, Windows. Yeah, that ain't such a big thing. But yeah, anyways, if you want your privacy to be watched, if you like your privacy, definitely turn this one off. It's unfortunate that Microsoft has a keylogger. Windows 10 isn't as bad as a lot of people said it was as far as privacy is, but it is still pretty pretty horrifying with the information that it does send out. This is a well-known thing. Check it out. Anyways, watch your privacy. If you're interested, if you're not, eh, good luck to you. That's it for me, Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff, and uh, have a good one.